Okay, so this series basically is uh, video game live comms, but without the video games. So basically rambling on about random shit, you know, and uh, keeping it pretty raw, obviously. I'm not gonna bleep out anything here. I just, you know, this basically will have to do about talking about some situations that have happened that I want to give my brutally honest opinions about. Um, and you know, when excited about certain things, I mean, it's kind of hard to hold back. So first of all, congratulations to the Raka Raka channel here on YouTube. Congratulations to Danny Filippo and Michael Filippo. They released last year a movie called, they released last year a movie called Talk To Me and it's basically a thriller. And they released it through uh, A24 uh, Films. And by the way, A24 is one of the major companies that has uh, released some pretty awesome movies like uh, Uncut Gems, The Lighthouse, The Witch, and then uh, let's see what else? I think of uh, the Moonlight. It was also Moonlight was uh, one of them. Uh, and that's just to name a few. Obviously, talk to me as well. But uh, major props to them, and this opens a huge door of opportunities for so many YouTubers uh, that you know want to get into filmmaking like this. Because I myself, I, I myself hope one, hopefully one day I'll be able to direct a movie. Um, you know with a major company uh like even hopefully one day Lionsgate because for me uh I recently just finished the entire Saw franchise I know I'm fucking late I know but yeah no I never uh for some reason I just never got around to watching the entire um Saw franchise ever and I just put it continuously to the side and it was so annoying because after seeing the whole uh, seven movies and whatnot. Now, I haven't watched Jigsaw Spiral, and I guess the 10th one is releasing, or I, I believe it's releasing. I don't know if there's actual confirmation that, uh, you know, they're finally starting to film it or not. I haven't heard anything yet. Um, and again, I really haven't kept up with it too much recently. Uh, I've been still focused on Den of Heat right now, which can't wait to talk about that later on. But yeah, congratulations to Michael and Danny. The Racka Racka channel as a whole, their whole team, I mean, it's awesome that they finally were able to break that boundary of them, you know, getting absolutely demonetized for so many years. I remember when the adpocalypse happened here on YouTube, uh, I witnessed it, I, you know, I wasn't obviously a part of it, um, but basically I witnessed, you know, some great things through the Racka Racka channel and some fucking funny ass shit on there as well. Um, the band McDonald's uh, commercial Overall, the Ronald McDonald uh, videos and stuff like that, they were just funny as hell, intense, and I, I quite frankly love them. I mean, they've done some great stuff. Uh, besides those ones, obviously, there was like ones like the Halo um, video that they did a few years ago, Call of Duty as well. Some st I think they even did stuff about like Star Wars too. You know, they were they were basically using YouTube as a way to show that they could be directors and producers as, as well. So, you know, to see them do their thing finally on a major, major thing with a A24 films is amazing. So congratulations to them and uh, just absolutely amazing. Hopefully it just, it, it brings the light even further onto YouTubers and it opens the door opportunities even wider for us overall. And uh, I can't wait for it. Hopefully, I can even show my side of being able to do some pretty awesome things as well as uh, from a director's mindset. Uh, I'm pretty hardcore into horror films as well as drama films and uh, action films. Uh, I've always loved things like uh, the Rocky series, the Expendable series. Those have been things that I've been, you know, watching constantly recently. Now, I know they're not necessarily the greatest. I know, I get that. Um, as well as maybe, uh, again, Saw franchise in terms of horror, Saw franchise there. Uh, the Conjuring universe, uh, as well as um, uh, things like The Exorcist, but mostly the first one, because after the first one, I mean, let's be honest here, it's not that great. Um, a few other horror movie franchises here and there, uh, or even things like uh, Shatter, well, was Shutter Island, not Shatter Island, Shutter Island, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Gangster movies like The Irishman, uh, Casino, uh, Goodfellas, Martin Scorsese, one of the greatest fucking directors of all time. Uh, the Godfather, definitely a great ass trilogy, obviously. Uh, but yeah, again, I mean, there's so many films that come to mind for me that, you know, I really, you know, get inspiration and want to do so many things in my life and hopefully one day even direct a movie. But we'll see where, you know, the land of opportunity takes me with that. But, you know, we'll see. Speaking of opportunities, if you have not heard, Kansas City is getting the NFL draft. And for me, and for Denifee, we're seriously excited about this opportunity because 
where a lot of people are saying they're hoping to have possibly about 600,000 people there because I mean it's a bunch of college kids uh, coming over and I mean families of those players that are going to be you know trying to get into the pros and uh, we're excited as uh, as a reseller myself and overall as a person who likes to look for opportunities I'm very excited because it just opens a window of possibly making uh, great connections with so many people okay and um, obviously in general it's gonna be a great event hopefully everything goes smoothly um, it's gonna be down over at Union Station uh, very close to Crown Center which by the way there are two events uh, for sneakers going down one of them is gonna be soul swap and I believe that's the Saturday before the last day of the draft uh, which on the last day of the draft, which would be the 29th, I believe. Yeah, so on April 22nd, which is a Saturday before the last day of the draft, uh, so the week before, and April 29th, uh, which is the last day of the draft, <clears throat> there will be a sneaker event. Uh, one of them will be at the Crown Center Exhibit Hall, I believe, and then another one, which is the 29th, that will be, I believe, a little bit further up the street from the exhibit hall. I'm not for sure exactly where that will be. I I'll try to find the posters and whatnot. I'll put them up there. But Soul Swap first. And then uh, I believe it's um, a High Beast KC hosting it. So I'll put those images somewhere around here. But yeah, I'm looking forward to those two events right there. We're definitely going to be there for sure. And then hopefully, okay, it's one that I've been going to uh, very uh, consistently. Well, not recently. It's I think since... July we stopped going to kind of better our inventory, but basically KC9 market version 9 should be taking place in April I believe uh, they recently did one uh, Here in February and now I believe they're gonna skip over in March and do one in April So hopefully it falls kind of in the mix of the draft So it brings in a lot of uh, great people for a lot of small businesses that I've seen at this event Casey Now Market is such a, you know, homey place. It's it's such a, an amazing event, okay? It's a small venue, but it's definitely one hell of a, of a place. It's not super small, okay? They're like I think we've had like, um, well, they've had overall like 50 to 60 vendors overall. And um, it's been a great event, you know? I've, I've always I've sold good there. Uh, the, like I said, the only reason why I took a break is to better my inventory, but due to unfortunate events earlier in the year, um, I couldn't go to the one in January, which really, really sucked. Um, or I mean in February, I mean. Um, and I, I took a brief pause in, in grinding and whatnot, and that's why I, I kind of look for this YouTube thing to kind of get some motivation again. Uh, to do this whole social media thing and, and uh, get some motivation going and, you know, just to get, get things going again, you know. But uh, hopefully with the draft coming up, hopefully we get three events and Denipi will be at all three of them. Uh, right now, hopefully in the next week, I start to buy uh, my tables for those events, especially for Soul Swap and then for the Hype Beast KC uh, event. And then, uh, and I believe the Hype Beast KC event will be something to do with charity as well. So that's also pretty awesome. But for KC Now Market, I have not heard a word on when they're going to do that one next. So hopefully it'll be in April uh, for the draft. And um, I mean, we're, we're all excited. I mean, everybody in Kansas City, if anybody's watching from Kansas City, I mean, we all should be excited. I mean, this is going to be insane. They're predicting anywhere from about 500,000 to 600,000 people. Uh, I mean, anytime it's the NBA draft, the NFL draft, it always brings a crap ton of people, a shit ton of people, okay? So, I mean, it's definitely something to look forward to. Um, and it's a bunch of, you know, college people as well. So it's going to be definitely a good time, 100% a good time. So recently, I've been looking all over the place for through Kansas City for something to do on the weekends in terms of cars and whatnot. Which I can't really give up the page for it because I know they put in their bio, don't snitch, don't be a rat, don't be this and that, you know, don't fucking tell on us and, you know, and I'm not, that's, I can't talk about that page whatsoever, but all I can say is that I did find a page that has been posting a bunch of, uh, you know, basically a whole street block off, you know, they're doing donuts and this and that. And uh, one of these days, I'm definitely going to bring you guys along with me. I, I've been trying to hunt them down for quite a bit. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that that is the wrong fucking word. <laughs> that is such the wrong word to be fucking using right now after I just said. But look, I'm just there for a good time. Okay, I just want to be there for a good time. Um, last year, I went with my friends uh, to a pretty dope uh, car show down at Union Station. Uh, which I don't know if I mentioned, but that's where the draft is going to be that. Uh, it's going to be at Union Station uh, just down the street from Crown Center. So... You know, just to let you guys know.
I have been looking high and low for it and I finally found it. And again, I really don't want to talk about it just until they're a little bit more comfortable. So hopefully in the next week or two, I can finally go. Uh, it either takes place on a Saturday or Sunday. Don't know exactly. Um, all I know is that they do some pretty crazy stuff. They, you know, block off the road. And by the way, I also do recognize the road that they do it at. I actually do visit that road quite a bit. Because uh, there's a specific supermarket on that road that they do it on that uh, we go very commonly. Especially during the holidays. Whenever we're about to do a big uh, dinner for Thanksgiving, Christmas. Uh, and a little bit of things for uh, Halloween as well. But not so much. But when it comes to the holidays, we're basically on that street. You know, so I know it pretty well. My WRX definitely needs some improvements. It definitely needs some repairs. I've been getting also the uh, papers from an actual Subaru dealer telling me that I need to go get the airbag, you know, fixed uh, and this and that, which I will, but not right now. Uh, they're offering actually for free, so I might do it very soon, but the reason why I don't want to do it right now is simply because there's other issues and I know they're gonna fucking charge me a goddamn you know, kidney for that shit, which, I mean, go ahead, I guess. I just, I don't have, um, I don't, you know, necessarily have the funds for it right now, at least, uh, for it to cover all of that, because I know when it comes to an actual dealership, they end up costing, uh, or at least, you know, giving you the estimate, it's quite a bit more than when you take it to an actual uh, shop that works on imports, which I did take to uh, an import shop that works fully on imports, which... I was kind of worried about because I had to call them and tell them like, hey, do you guys work on Subarus? They said yes. Leading up to that call, I had been calling other shops that supposedly worked on imports and not really. They only, well, not all imports at least, but some of them, BMWs, uh, mostly like German Motors, Germany uh, automakers, that's all they were working on. Uh, BMW, Volkswagen, all them, John's right there, Porsche as well. And really, uh, I was obviously disappointed, so I had to look high and low for that as well. But hopefully very soon I can finally take my car uh, to get it repaired. Once it's repaired, I'm going to start thinking about getting some new uh, headlights and taillights for it. Possibly some new rims. And then uh, possibly, um, probably side skirts. At least for the time being to make it look decent for the next car show. Which, like I said, I went to a car show last year with some friends. And it was a pretty big one at Union Station. And um, it was basically like a domestic versus uh, JDM. Which was really dope a lot of great cars there challengers chargers old school nissans subarus as well and i'll throw up some clips by the way of that event it was it was amazing it was absolutely uh dope as hell god fucking zilla yo oh this motherfucker's clean there we go send it Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go! Yes! Yeah! There she is. Oh my god. And I've seen this Subaru too. I've seen it on Instagram. I've seen it. I know exactly who it is. Holy shit. Yo. Now this is a midnight club project right here, yo. God damn. Fuck. It, we were there for quite a bit of time in downtown. We were there until like, I think like 2, 3 in the morning. Uh, and the event ended at like 11. So we just went around downtown to fuck around and, you know, we found out and, you know, we did some things. Uh, no, nothing crazy. We just fucking ran on some scooters and that's it. We did a fucking drag race on the scooters, by the way. You wanna know who won? Definitely not me, but it's all right. I think, I don't even remember who won that one, but it is what it is. But uh, yeah, hopefully very soon I take you guys to that, uh, you know, small little thing. Again, I can't really talk about it until they get a little bit more comfortable with me talking about it, but um, once they do, I'll definitely show you guys. And, uh, and either way, I'm gonna show some footage of it. But just right now, I'm gonna keep it on low until uh, you know those guys get a little bit more comfortable with me uh, showing up there. And uh, yeah. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, again, congratulations to uh, Danny Filippo, Michael. I mean, such a great achievement uh, for them. And 
I'm looking forward to seeing the movie. I haven't seen it yet just because, like I said, I haven't kept up with them and a bunch of other YouTubers in so long. Again, you fucking sneakers took over for quite a bit of time, you know, and it took away from so many things. The hustle, you know, to resell took over for quite a few things. So, but now that I'm back on it and now that I, you know, really am getting more into this movie sort of thing mindset, it's wanting to grasp me, you know, it's wanting to grasp onto me and just you know take me on for a ride so hopefully uh it takes us it takes us on a really wild ride so we'll see how it goes thank you very much for watching have a good night hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you guys very very soon peace